Hi everyone, hope you're all good. Welcome to another React Native tutorial. In today's video, I'll be taking you through adding Facebook authentication to your application using Firebase. The first thing you want to do is head over to the Facebook slash Meta for Developers website. Go ahead and click on the My Apps uh, link here. This should lead you to the dashboard. Uh, it should require sign in. So if you're not signed in, go ahead and sign into your dashboard. And then here we'll just create a new application. We'll select the consumer category and click next. And then enter a name for your app. Uh, in my case, I'll just say React Native login. And then add an app contact email. For business category, I'll just choose one of my options that I have here. So this is like a business account. If you have one, uh, you can go ahead and add that, but it is optional. And then create your app. Enter your password to confirm, submit. And once that is set up, you should have an app ID. We'll use this later on in the video. But for now, go ahead and uh, set up the Facebook login. And we'll select iOS for this tutorial. Click Next. And then here, we'll get our bundle ID from Xcode and paste it in there. So let's just change this to something more readable. So go ahead and copy the bundle ID and then paste it in there. Click Save. Continue. Save. And then all the other options, these uh, we can leave out for now. We'll come back to these later on in the tutorial. So just click Next, Next. Next, next, and we should be good. And then head over to Firebase. We'll need to create a new Firebase project. So I already started with the setup process here. So go ahead and give your Firebase project a name. In my case, I'll just say React Native FB Login. Click Continue. Uh, no need for Google Analytics. Create project. Continue after that. And then let's set up our iOS uh, project. So for the bundle ID, already copied that, just paste it in there. You can give your app a nickname, uh, that's optional, and an App Store ID as well if you've already got one set up. Go ahead and register your app. And download the Google service info.plist file. Uh, we'll add this to our Xcode project later on in the tutorial. So I'll just save it in my downloads folder for now. Click Next, 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 and continue to console. And then once you've finished uh, setting up your app, just come over to Authentication. And then under sign-in method, we'll select Facebook as our provider. We'll enable that and then go back to the Facebook dashboard to retrieve the app ID and the app secret. So the app ID would be that one there. Paste it in. And then for the app secret, come under settings. So not the Facebook login settings, but the main settings that's just beneath dashboard. And then click basic. The app secret should be, there we go there, right there. Just click show, copy that. And then paste it in there. And also, uh, let's copy this link here. We'll paste this in Facebook login settings. Uh, valid auth uh, redirect URL. So just paste that in there. Yeah. And save changes. And then save here as well. Okay, so we're good there. 
and then head over to the React Native Firebase. Uh, so you might be familiar with this uh, React Native Firebase uh, package if you've seen uh, some of the other videos where I go over uh, Google Authentication and Apple Authentication. If you're interested in those videos, be sure to check them out as well. So let's first install this package. And then while that is being uh, installed, let's just scroll down to the Android setup. I mean, iOS setup, sorry. So the uh, Google Info Palace that we just downloaded, let's add that to our project. So in Xcode, right click on your application and then select Add Files to uh, Project. And then Downloads and add that. There we go. Then if we continue scrolling, the next thing we should do is add this line to our app.delegate.m file. So app.delegate.m. At the top of this file, let's add import firebase.h. And then scroll down further. Uh, we should copy this section and add it to the did finish launching with options function in the same file as well. There we go. And then once you've added that, let's head back to the React Native Firebase documentation and scroll all the way down. Now, here where it comes to altering Cocoa Pods uh, to use frameworks, uh, this might give you a couple of issues uh, with the recent update of Firebase iOS DK version 9. Uh, I tried setting up uh, this project using use frameworks. There's a couple of issues that you might experience. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll continue using uh, Firebase version 8. And to do that, just scroll all the way down. And we'll need to add this to our pod file to override the Firebase version. So go ahead and copy that. And then I'll open the pod file in my VS Code. So just come uh, under iOS and then pod file. We'll add this to the very top of this file. Click Save. And then we can head back uh, up here. So moving on here to step number four, we should run pod install repo update and cd iOS. Cool. And then once that is done, uh, let's just go ahead and build uh, our project and see if everything is working. So clean build folder. And then go ahead and build the project. So our build was successful. So if you follow all those steps, things should work fine for you as well. Now let's head back to the uh, React Native Firebase screen. And then here, now we can set up our authentication. So scroll down under authentication, usage, and then we'll add the uh, authentication module to our project. So go ahead and do that. Okay, and then once the uh, installation is done, let's just run pod install once more. So we're already in the iOS directory, just run pod install there. And as you can see, we're using the uh, version 8.15, uh, which we set there as our Firebase uh, version. So I'll probably put out another video using Firebase version 9, taking you through how to set up Facebook authentication using the updated version of Firebase. And then we'll just read from disk. Okay, so once that is done, let's just scroll down here to social authentication and then select your provider. In our case, it's Facebook. So before we can uh, follow the steps here, let's first add the uh, React Native Facebook library to our project, which is React Native Facebook or FBSDK next. Uh, go ahead and add this using Yano NPM. 
and then let's follow the ios configuration or the uh, steps so get started for ios sdk and here i think we only need to follow steps two three and four so we can scroll all the way down to step two there we go so it says here right click on info p list in xcode so let's go ahead and do that so info p list right click and it says go on to show as or open as rather source code cool and then we need to add this uh, bunch of lines to our dictionary so copy the code and then we'll add it to this dictionary here let's add it at the very bottom there cool and then let's just replace uh, these keywords here so fb app id and fb uh, app id again there client token and app name so we already set up our application on the meta uh, for developers dashboard so we just need these details that we uh, need to add here. So for the app ID, just copy that and then replace that app ID. So be careful not to uh, remove the FB that's in front there. So it has to be FB and then the app ID. And then here where it's just app ID, just paste in the app ID, no need for the FB at the beginning. And then we need our client token. So the client token you should get uh, if you go into settings and then advanced. And then if you scroll all the way down, here's your client token, copy that. And then paste it in there. And then lastly, our app name, which is RN login, you can just write it in there. Cool. Okay, let's see if there's more steps to follow. Let's just head back here. So that's step two. Uh, lastly, let's head to signing and capabilities. Uh, go ahead and select the team here, just to resolve that error one uh, error message. Okay, so here we need to add. Let's see, keychain sharing. So go ahead and do that. And then it says ensure kitchen sharing capabilities is listed uh, for the target. Yeah, that one we're done. Uh, so step three, you can skip since our project is not using any Swift code. I think it's objective C if I'm not mistaken. So what we can do, uh, just head back to the docs here and follow the steps that are highlighted here. So import this in appdelegate.m. We'll just edit under the uh, Firebase import. And then add this as well to the uh, did finish launching with options, just like we did with the uh, Firebase as well. There we go. And let's see if there's anything else we left with. Okay, so step four is just building and running the application. Oh, before we build, uh, we need to run our pod install. Sorry, so we'll just copy that. Then run pod install, because we just installed the React Native uh, Firebase, I mean, React Native Facebook uh, package. We forgot to run pod install for that. So we'll just do that before building your application. Okay, and then once that is done, let's go ahead and just read from disk once more here. And we can build our application. And once that is done, we're ready to jump into the JavaScript code. So uh, let's just close this, we'll close that, close that. OK, 
Okay, so from here, we can just go into our app file or wherever you want to implement this uh, Facebook login functionality. And then it's just a matter of copying and pasting from here. So copy these two lines and import auth, uh, login manager and access token. And then just uh, make your Facebook method, uh, your sign in with Facebook method asynchronous. And then we can copy this portion here. And then just add that inside there. Just fix the formatting there. So with that done, let's see if our sign in with Facebook is working. I'm gonna run my application in the simulator. And then now uh, if I click on sign in with Facebook, we should get a prompt uh, asking us if we want to continue to sign in with Facebook. I'll go ahead and click continue. And then we have the login with Facebook pop-up. So continue as Jalom. Cool. So let's see if that has created a new user on our face, uh, Firebase dashboard. So just reload here. And there you go. So now you should be able to sign in your users with Facebook in your application. And you can follow the other steps on how to read for state changes to handle uh, any user sign outs or sign in requests. So thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time. Cheers.